YouTube, how you doing? This is Puck. Today I'm gonna talk about a really serious problem that you can get with your Samsung Galaxy phone. And uh, it's a brand new uh, uh, thing to me. At least I never had it before. But I suddenly got it. And I got it when I um, restored back and unrooted my phone back to, you know, original. It was on 4.1.2 you know original stuff everything running and then suddenly BAM I got the process come dot sec uh, Android uh, error you know and when you get that error you know every app that you open you know it will give you error you know and it's called the um, the process come dot sec Android error so I was like how to fix this phone back you know and I thought well uh, I had this problem uh, last year so I thought you know only thing I have to do is put it in download mode and restore it back with uh, the same firmware but then I restarted the phone and I got a problem again I was like what the heck you know so what I did um, I just uh, connected Arden and reinstalled you know 4.1.2 the firmware original stock firmware and I rebooted and I want to start the program and bam I get it again I was like what the heck is this show damn this is really serious so um, I thought you know what the only way how I can really fix this is by you know installing something totally different on it you know another firmware but then again, if you have all these stock ROMs and you're not rooted, then there's not so much that you can choose. Yeah, you can choose some various ROMs, but in fact, they are all based on the same Samsung thing. So in fact, yeah, I didn't want to go for that. Maybe that also works. So you can try that out if you want to. But I did it a little different. What I did, um, I went in back into download mode and then I rooted as a boss you must check my video rooted as a boss I will put the link you must you must learn how to root your phone because this is really important if you want to fix this problem okay so what did I do I rooted the phone yeah I will put the packages the packages are all in the video just look in my description check the link learn how to root as a boss you know with Arden we do that with Arden, all the packages are up there, you just have to click the links and then you can root your phone and when you're rooted then you come back to this video and then you come to this point here, books, you know, and then what you do, um, you turn off the phone, you remove the USB cable, yeah, because when you rooted your phone, you must not restart so if you are in download mode yeah connected to the USB and you selected the root package that you will have to install via Arden but you will see that in my other video then when you did that you know you um, the phone will reboot but the, you must make sure that the battery cover is also open because the moment it wants to reboot you pops hit off out the battery very important so what you do because I rooted the phone and then I rebooted it the normal way and then the damn error was still there and I was getting in panic so you know I thought you know what I'm gonna um, I'm gonna install the package root the phone and when it wants to reboot I will remove the battery put the battery in and then put the phone not in download mode but put the phone then into a recovery mode and how to put the phone in a download mode and how to put in a recovery mode when the phone is off and connected to the USB or not even connected to the USB then you must hit the volume button of your Samsung device you, hit, you press it down the volume button down you press the home button yeah you keep pressing them both and then you press the power button so you keep holding the three buttons until you will see that the phone is into a recovery mode and then uh, when you are in recovery mode Arden will see the, the, the phone you understand you will get a little yellow and then you can do the flashing of uh, the, the root so 
and to get into a, a recovery mode only thing that is different is you must hold the volume up all the way up press it up and then you hold the home button down and then you press the power button until you get in clockwork recovery you will have that after you root at your phone if you're not rooted don't even try this here because this will not work for you you understand you must go and root first and then come back and then you know when you kicked out the battery from that point we go now then you put back the battery inside and then you put it into a recovery mode with the volume bottom up you know and when you see clockwork recovery you must also make sure that before you go and do that that you downloaded slim bean uh, android slim bean android is a very light android and it's out there for many versions uh, of um, of the Samsung Galaxy at least for my Samsung Galaxy S2 it was out there so you know I think for the S3 it's also there I think for the S1 if the if it's not there for the S1 you know then um, yeah probably you should go for another firmware other rooted firmware then I would go for for instance one of the uh, firmwares that I'm talking about in my latest videos just check my list and you will see a couple of them there uh, and just try them out just make sure that it's not an original firmware that it's just a, a custom firmware so I installed Slim Bean, Slim Bean uh, Android that is 4.3 that's what I installed uh, I had it on the SIP so what you do when you put the phone into a uh, recovery mode you know then you scroll uh, install from SIP you scroll with the volume buttons and with the enter you can if you don't know these things then in fact you uh, have a little problem but with the volume you can scroll up and down and with the power you hit enter so you know you scroll like install from SD card and, and install zip from SD card then you scroll to the slim bean you have it on your card already and then at that point uh, you just install it make sure that your battery is like a little bit full not so empty you know so you have some power in it um, yeah that's it about you know and then you reboot oh yeah not forget uh, won't don't forget to wipe your cache settings wipe your dial fix setting, uh, settings on the advanced in in clockwork recovery and also wipe uh, the user uh, settings and the partition settings so when you did all that and you restart your galaxy phone then the baby will be working as a charm again and then she will be also rooted but yeah maybe you don't want your phone rooted so then you know if you want to get it back to original what you should do is just uh, put it back in download mode you know and then uh, just uh, uh, start up your Arden you know and then you know just plug the phone in and then let Arden just install the 4.1.2 custom firmware you know that's the, that's the way to do it you know but I wouldn't do that you know cause maybe then you're gonna get this problem again you know so I'm just uh, playing you guys around a bit but that's the only way that I could fix my Galaxy phone from this process com uh, what is it sec dot android and when you get that oh, all programs they are all stopping only thing you can hit is close 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 so I hope you uh, have uh, some information now how to do it and uh, if you have any questions I would like to see them here in my uh, bloody blah in my YouTube of course if you like this information please hit this video you know hit it a like a thumbs up and of course you are always welcome to subscribe to my channel all you people from all over the world might get this problem so you might watch this video and for you and your family blessings out there you know let's keep the world one world one love one unity and one good Android phone in our pocket then my next video bye